tender electrode potentials, this is where we start to figure out, okay, what voltage does everything have? So we figure out, okay, what's the voltage of a particular reaction? So I can know, is this going to power my car? I want to do a couple little, take out my battery in my car, make my own battery. Is this going to run my car? So we would need to measure the voltage to see if that will happen. Um, each half reaction, like you saw in a previous table, is going to have its own voltage. So every <coughs> reduction half reaction uh, is going to have its own potential. And what we do is we pick one to make zero. So let me give you an example reaction here. Do a plus aqueous plus zinc solid. And th this reaction will help illustrate what I'm talking about. A quiz, 2 plus, plus H2 gas. Okay, so we've got an oxidation reaction. That's zinc uh, oops, solid goes to zinc, 2 plus, aqueous, plus 2 electrons. And we've got a reduction half reaction. The reduction half reaction is 2H plus, aqueous plus two electrons goes to H2 gas. So we've got our oxidation reduction. Our, and now we're going to put a voltmeter in this reaction. The voltmeter reads 0 0.76 volts. Okay, so we've got a voltmeter in our reaction. It reads that. So what we're going to do, arbitrarily, with nothing else uh, behind it besides having to pick something, we need to set a particular half reaction to zero. So what we're going to do is take this one right here, <coughs> set to zero volts. That's volts set to zero volts, arbitrarily, 0, 0.000 whatever amount of sig figs you need. And that's going to be our standard uh, potential. In fact, we call this the standard hydrogen electrode. So that's our standard hydrogen electrode, aka that's zero voltage. Everything else is measured from this, or according to this. Yeah? Why did we pick this one in particular? Arbitrarily. No reason. We were bored. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We picked one. We picked that one. Uh, it turns out to be a nice one to compare. And we basically compare every other reaction to this one. And just are saying this is zero. Because we can only measure the overall reaction voltage, not the half reaction voltage. OK. And so uh, the potential is marked by an E. And I write my E's cursive like this. That's an E. E standard equals 0, 0.0 volts. <laughs> Okay? If you want to write other weird E's that are straight lines, whatever, that's how I write my E's. Okay? So that is going to be set at zero for the standard hydrogen electrode. That's abbreviated SHE, standard hydrogen electrode. Okay? Uh, and a couple stats about this. The Activity equals 1 for the standard hydrogen electrode. That means the concentration of H plus is 1 molar. Concentration of H plus is 1 molar. And the pressure is 1 bar. So the H2 gas, it's 1 bar. And the electrode, we've got a platinum electrode. Okay, so just a couple pieces of information. You're not really going to use that, but that's the standard conditions, if you will. Found my green pen. Awesome. Amazing. So let me show you how this works. On this picture, and I'll have to zoom in. Okay. 
note right here, here's your standard hydrogen electrode, zero. Okay, that's set to zero. Uh, let me see if that zinc one is in here. Here it is. 0.763 negative. Now notice this is negative where I gave you a positive answer before. Whenever you flip a reaction, you're going to flip the E squiggly, the E potential. Okay? So if you flip this reaction over and make it oxidation, this sign is going to flip over. Okay? So uh, remember that. So note here, I have this zinc reaction written backwards. In my table, it's 0.763 negative. Well, I get a positive answer because it's flipped. Okay? And you'll see me do that a number of times. 